Hey Happy Homemakers, welcome back. So today's video is going to be another monthly Costco grocery haul. Once a month I go shopping for the pantry items at Costco that will keep the entire month without going bad. I also stock up on some items that will freeze well and some household items too. Now back from Costco, the kids are finally in bed and I have all of my Costco items laid out in front of me. Sorry there was very little footage of us actually shopping at Costco this month. Daniel and I are just both kind of tired. We've been recovering from a cold and I just honestly forgot to do a lot of the filming while we were there. But I did get a few clips here and there. Anyway, so I have everything laid out on the counter behind me here. <clears throat> and you may notice this is the only meat that's out on the counter and that is because this video is sponsored by ButcherBox. ButcherBox is a company that sends high quality, ethically sourced meat straight to your doorstep. They team up with and source everything from farmers who really care about how their meats are raised. Everything is organic and always antibiotic free. So I really love the idea of this company because you guys know that I really care about what my family is putting in their mouth as long as I can afford it. It comes in this big box which is very well insulated. I think it also has like dry ice in it somewhere but when I opened it earlier everything was 100% frozen solid. It was so well insulated it's kind of crazy. Anyway so I have a ton of ground beef in here which is great because my family loves ground beef. We made hamburgers the other day and I'm also planning to do some chilies and make some Swedish meatballs, some meatloaf. So that's actually some steak. So you know what? I think I'm going to put this on the counter because that's going to be a lot easier to do. I just wanted to show you guys how thick the insulation is in this thing. Okay, this is going to work much better. Anyways, so Marky, what are you doing out of bed? So as you can see there's quite a lot of meat and a nice variety of it You have the option of spending $129 a month and letting them select your meats for you or you can spend 149 and you're able to customize your box. But I kind of like the idea of being surprised and having to get creative because if you guys have been watching a lot of these videos, I usually do chicken, ground beef, and some salmon. Um, so I'm kind of excited to do all these different cuts of meat. We have about six pounds of ground beef here, which I know we will get through this month. We love our ground beef. Another recipe I'm planning to do with ground beef this month is some sour cream enchiladas, which will be really good. There are three packages of organic chicken tenderloins. Each one has about six to 10 packs again it's free range no antibiotics non-gmo which i am really happy about usually i will mix and match organic and non-organic meats at costco just to make it more affordable for the month i spent right around a hundred dollars on meats um and this was 129 and it's 100 percent organic so that is pretty awesome so i'm really excited to use some of these this month i'm going to make some almond crusted chicken tenderloins and that will be really good so we have some salmon which i am still on my salmon kick i love salmon so much i still have to share the recipe that I talked to you guys about last time where I pan fried it and just use one seasoning and it was like the best salmon I ever tasted. A couple of you have been asking about it and I will try to film it this month. I just, things just kind of got out of hand. Anyways, we also have one package of grass-fed beef sirloin tips which I'm planning to saute and put into like a beef pot pie. Because it's a smaller package, I think it will be able to like spread out for everybody that way and it will be really good with this cut of meat. I'm so excited about that. And then these are some pork spare ribs. I am so excited about this because I am a ribs girl but I never buy it because they are so expensive. But this is two and a half pounds of ribs which will feed all of us for sure. And it's raised with no antibiotics, no hormones, and it is also ethically sourced. So that'll be awesome. And then the last thing of meat we have right here is some grass-fed ribeye steak. I think I'm going to do like a cracked peppercorn steak with some pommes frites, which are like the tiny crispy french fries. So that is what was in the butcher box and now we're going to get on the Costco haul. But really quickly before we do, I want to let you guys know that they have given me a promo link which I have down below. It is my trackable link and the first 250 viewers who use that link will get two pounds of ground beef free for the lifetime of their subscription. They've had other promos in the past but this one is the very best one so make sure you try this out because I love the idea that they ethically source everything and I'm always all about convenience especially because I have toddlers. If it cuts down all my shopping time in the store, that is amazing. So if you guys are also into ethically sourced meats that are natural and organic, make sure you take advantage of that promo before it expires. Anyway, so now let's move on with the rest of the Costco haul. Since this is my first month with ButcherBox and I wasn't sure how much meat I would have, which I do actually have quite a bit, I just want to make sure it lasts the entire month. So just to kind of fill in the gaps, I did get some chicken breasts from Costco. This unfortunately isn't organic free range, but their chicken there that is 
is really expensive and I'm pretty sure that will be set for the entire month. The only other meat I got was this rotisserie chicken. For a night when I need a quick meal, I'll probably make some white chicken chili with that. For frozen veggies, I did switch it up a bit this month. I got this vegetable blend stir fry. I'm pretty sure this is the one I saw my friend Mary. Um, her channel is with Love Mary. I'll link it down below. I saw her using this in one of her cooking videos and I thought it looked really good. I really love the way she cooks by the way, so make sure you go and check out her channel. Anyway, so I got that this month and then I also got these organic mixed veggies when usually I'll just get a bag of corn and a bag of peas but I'm gonna be doing pot pies and stuff like that, so I thought it'd be nice to just have everything prepared all together. It's been a little while since I explained my system of how I shop at Costco once a month. So like I said earlier, I stock my pantry with stuff that will store in my pantry for the entire month without going bad, but also things that I can keep in my freezer, like the meats and the veggies. I don't usually get produce. I usually buy that once a month at Trader Joe's in sm smaller quantities um, and spend 25 to $50 a week on those shopping trips. But this month, I did get a few things. I got some berries because these are organic berries and they were a really, really good price. I think this was only about four, four or five dollars. It was really good and I think this was about five, five something. So anyways, the kids are also just on a berry kick right now so I'm pretty sure we'll go through this. And with berries, you can always freeze them before they start going bad um, but I'm planning to do a lot of smoothies and stuff this week so I'm sure we'll get through all of them on time. I do usually get bananas there because their bananas are not packaged in a huge quantity so so we're able to get through these before they go bad. This organic spring mix, however, is a really good price, but it's one thing that we usually don't get through fast enough. I usually end up throwing away maybe half of it, but I am trying to get back on track health-wise, so I bought this hoping that I would, could force myself to have salads every lunch um, and just switch it up with like maybe adding some salmon or maybe adding an egg or some chicken, avocado, that kind of a thing. So my goal this week is to get through this salad without wasting any of it. So that is why I shot for that today. Also, this is another thing my friend Mary, I think it was Mary who recommended it to me. She said it was really good and it's um, just an organic cherry almond blue chopped kit with blue cheese vinaigrette. My husband loves blue cheese, so I thought of him when I picked that up. And honestly, this salad wasn't that great of a price. It was like $6.99, and it's not that much bigger than what you would find at Trader Joe's or something. Um, but it is organic, so that kind of justifies the price. Over here, I have some organic acai juice. This was on sale for $4.99. I like to take collagen in the mornings, and if I don't get around to making a smoothie, um, I just mix it with a little bit of this juice, and that's how I'm able to drink it, because collagen does not taste good. Um, I got some turkey breast for Daniel's lunches and the kids, because we like to have, we haven't had this for a while, and I've just missed that variety, because if I'm, if I don't have leftovers, I will send Daniel with a peanut butter jelly sandwich, so I just want to be able to make him a deli sandwich. And this is one thing where it has three packages, so I'll throw these two in the freezer, and then just take this one out and when this one is gone I'll pull another one out and they defrost very well in the fridge you just have to let them defrost completely before you try to use them otherwise they'll like come apart in pieces um, but I do like this brand also because it is natural and it is um, nitrate free which if you look it up nitrates are not good for men so you always want to make sure there are no nitrates added I got some more maple syrup we still have some but we were running low so I thought I would just store this in my pantry until we did um, I don't just use this for pancakes, I actually cook with it too. If I make Mark as a hot chocolate, I will add a little bit of maple syrup instead of sweeteners because in one of the last hauls, I think I should, I shared a list of like all the sugars from worst to first and this is like number two on the list. I think stevia is one and I think maple syrup is number two. Anyways, I do like to replace sugar with this whenever it is, um, whenever it is an option. Um, and then we also have some chimichangas, which these are not the healthiest for you, but they are a lot better than running to fast food when I'm just not feeling like making dinner. And it is so much cheaper. This is $12.99. This will feed our family at least four times. So if you do the math, that's like less than $5 a meal. That's really good. So this has been a lifesaver last month. Um, so that's something that I've been trying to have in my freezer. Because otherwise, if I don't cook dinner, we just order a pizza or we run to Taco Bell and we'll end up spending more and Taco Bell is a lot worse for you. So here is my dairy. I did get some butter because it is fall. We're gonna be doing more baking. This is also something that freezes and defrosts well. So I don't mind getting this huge package. It's like $10 for four pounds. Um, and then we got two things of eggs, which we go through with so many eggs, I probably could have gotten a third package and been fine. I don't get organic because they're so expensive, but I do get cage-free. 
Um, and then I get organic whole milk for the kids. And then Daniel and I drink this low fat regular milk um, just to kind of offset the cost of the organic for the kids. Um, I have here Dave's Killer Bread. And last month, if you guys remember, I did try the white bread done right. This is the 21 whole grains. And honestly, we like the flavor of this one better. Even though it's got like more seeds and it's like a darker bread. We really liked this one. So this is what we're getting. And again, I probably could have gotten three packages. But I think we do have like one loaf out in the freezer still. So this should last all month. And if I do run out, I just grab like one loaf at Trader Joe's until the next time we go to Costco. These are another thing that freeze really, really well. All I do is just throw it in the freezer just like this. And when I need one, I just let it defrost on my pantry shelf. You would not even tell that it had been frozen. It just defrosts so well. Also new for this month, we got some organic tomato sauce. There's 12 cans and it was about by a little less than five dollars which is a really good price and it's organic so that's awesome I got it because I'm gonna be making chilies I make some soups with like a tomato base um, pasta recipes I tend to do more things with a tomato base in the fall so I thought I would just save a little bit of money and buy it bulk this month um, because it's like a dollar fifty per can at Trader Joe's for organic tomato sauce and this is a I think it's less than 75 cents a can, so it really is so much better to buy it that way. We also get the Annie's Variety Pack. This, we don't make mac and cheese every day, so this usually does last us the whole month. Um, and then I also have the Annie's Cheddar Bunnies. We could go through this in just a couple weeks, but um, I try to make it last the whole month. I like to take these snacks like if we're going to the zoo or something because they pack well, but if we're home, I will try to give them some fresh fruit for a snack or cheese or yogurt or something like that and just save these prepackaged snacks for special occasions because they do get expensive. The last two things we have are some household items. We get our bath tissue and I think we've only been getting it like every two months. I think this thing lasts us for two months which is nice because it's only $16. And then we also got some pull-ups for Marcus. The funny thing is I don't know how it happened but every month we just have to either buy Marcus or Chloe's and they're like on opposite months so it kind of really helps the budget to never have to buy both of them at the same time. I allow myself $200 a month for the groceries portion and $100 for the household items. If I only count groceries I spent about $180 this shopping trip but I did buy a lot more produce this time and also that tomato sauce, which is gonna cut a lot out on my weekly shopping trips. Um, so I think the budget is gonna kind of even out. Anyways, don't forget to go and check out Butcher Box. I will have the link down below. And make sure you use it before that promo expires. So you will get the two pounds of ground beef in every single box. I just heard Marcus say hello from his bedroom. Anyways, now I'm gonna go put all of the stuff away and put Marcus back down for the night. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.